Hello everyone and welcome to another Race Day Wednesday. So you want to know what's the difference between industrial design and engineering? Stick around to see the difference. Industrial design and engineering, they go hand to hand. They are essential for developing any kind of product, not just cars, but any product. So basically, industrial designers, we make it look good. We come up with some concepts and then engineering makes it work. If you have an engineer design a whole car, it's gonna work really well, but it's gonna look not that pretty. If you have an industrial designer or a car designer design the entire car and build it, the car is gonna look beautiful, but probably as soon as you go over 10 miles an hour, the wheels are gonna fall apart, the engine's gonna stop if we actually ever get it to start. For you to choose which path to go, you have to decide what are you more interested in, how things work or how things look. Now, the gap between industrial design and engineering has been shrinking a little bit just because of the software that we have now. The software that I use is called SOLIDWORKS for some of my industrial design projects. For, for my beautiful surfacing and sculpture, I use Alias, which is pretty much the industry standard. But SOLIDWORKS can do a lot of components for industrial design and it can calculate for you the resistance, the, how much heat it can take, where it's going to break, uh, how much it's going to weight, how much it's going to cost before you even build it. So, so that's a lot of engineering that is getting taken care of by the software, which is pretty cool. So basically as a designer, I will create a sketch of any object, any industrial design. I don't care if it's a pencil sharpener, something simple. I sketch this and I make it look nice and I play with the curves and shapes and all that stuff. And then I give it back to the engineers and the engineers are gonna make sure which kind of batteries it's gonna need, what kind of blades, where the motor, what kind of electric motor. So they're gonna figure all that out. And then they're gonna come back to me with some of the changes they made to fit the battery. Most of the time those changes are gonna look very ugly because they're just gonna put like a big block square right here on the side to say this is where the batteries go. So then it's my job as an industrial designer to integrate that with the overall design of the piece again. We push the limits of the engineers to create stuff that they don't believe it's possible. And engineers are good at bringing us back to earth when we're like completely over our heads trying to do something that is not possible to make. So it's, it's a constant struggle. We work hand by hand. Engineers need designers, designers need engineers, and that's how we come with the most beautiful products that actually work. Thank you for watching this Race Day Wednesday. I hope this makes it clear for you what's the difference between industrial design and engineering. On this channel, I'm gonna teach you everything about how to become a car designer. So please subscribe so you get all my new videos coming out, all my tutorials, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Thank you.